Hi, I will be using instructional strategies and procedures that will increase the opportunities for students with intellectual disabilities to learn and be successful by ensuring that the lesson is broken down into sequences and tasks that start simply and can become more complex as the smaller tasks are then mastered. In chapter five of our textbook, it talks about the recognition, recall, and reconstruction. And this method, students will be able to be successful um, in smaller stages. Um, so in this lesson that I'm about to demo, um, what you won't see is that students would be read the book Rainbow Fish as an opener. And this is a story about being different. And this would be a really good way to tie in SEL. Um, it would also be a good way as they read the story to show the students the colors and the shapes of the rainbow fish. I would then explain um, the art of wax resist. So after the book, I would show a short video and talk about how this works. At that, at that point in the lesson, I would use a document camera to show the steps to make our own rainbow fish using wax resist technique. The part of the lesson that I will demo is a recognition and repetition exercise showing the basic shapes to draw the fish. So they would all be given a worksheet and we would show them the basic shapes, circles, triangles, half circles. And I'll demonstrate this for you. The part that you won't see after the demonstration would be where um, what would not be shown would be the next steps um, of drawing a fish on our watercolor paper coloring our fish with crayons, and then finally using watercolor paints that would resist the crayon and fill our background with water. The last step, which would not be shown, would be waiting till it was dry and then adding glitter to some of the fish's scales, just like the rainbow fish. This lesson would be a great PBL with a science class. Okay class, now that we have read the book Rainbow Fish and we have talked about the wax resist painting technique, we're going to learn how to draw a fish, so just like the one I have down here if you look at the board. Now you all have this worksheet in front of you and we're going to work through it step by step together. The first part of this is I'm going to go through the entire worksheet and we're just going to talk about it and you're going to look at the board and we're going to familiarize ourselves with these shapes or re-familiarize ourselves with these shapes and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to trace the shape with our finger trace the shape with a pencil and then we're going to come over here and we're going to try some on our own and when we get really comfortable with all these different steps we're going to work to make a fish using all of these shapes and we'll practice a few times here and then we'll flip it over and we'll try a few times there before we put this on our final paper and work on coloring it in. Okay, so if at any time you have questions you can raise your hand or if you're feeling uncomfortable or need help you can give me a thumbs down and sometimes I'll ask hey how's everybody doing and you can give me a thumbs up to let me know that you understand. The first shape we're going to use is a circle. We know what a circle is. We've already reviewed that. We're going to trace it with our finger to re-familiarize ourselves with how to make it. And then we're going to take a pencil and we're going to go around the dotted line with the pencil until we're comfortable. And then again, we'll try it over here on our own. We have talked before about triangles and how they can look different and even have special names. They're all still triangles, but they're all a little different. Well, with our rainbow fish, we saw that they have fins and all the fins are different and they all have special names. So we're going to learn a little bit about that too as we go. The first triangle is called an equilateral triangle and we're going to use this for the tail fin. This triangle is called equilateral because all the sides are equal to each other. So we're going to